Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is noun phrase 29. The noun phrase today is man-eater. Okay, let's take a look at the note. Uh, the noun phrase man-eater can have several meanings. Uh, it can also sometimes be found with a hyphen, as in man-eater, with a hyphen in between the two words. Uh, all right, let's continue. Um, all right, this is the first meaning. Uh, a man-eater can be an informal name for a cannibal. Well, of course, with humans, a cannibal is a person who eats other people. Uh, we can use the word cannibal in other species if some animal also eats um, the same kind. But, of course, with humans, we use man-eater as a slang name for a cannibal, or it's another name for a cannibal. All right, let's take a look at number two. Uh, a man-eater can also refer to any animal that is thought to possibly attack or eat humans. Okay, an example here, of course, we will use shark, but it could be a tiger, it could be a lion, any ones that are kind of known that the, in the past they may have done it sometimes. It could be referred to as a man-eater. Okay, let's look at the third one. Uh, a man-eater can also be thought of uh, as a seductive woman, a very sort of sexy woman. A uh, seductive woman who has many lovers, especially one who just uses a man like a womanizer will use women. Remember, a womanizer, that's what you call a man that just kind of uses women. He, he, you know, once he gets one woman to sleep with him, he'll kind of leave her and just jump to the next woman. You know, from one woman to another woman to another woman, just kind of uses them, you know, just for his own fun or for his own enjoyment. So, if there's a woman like that, then she might be referred to as a man-eater. Okay, let's go on. Uh, all right, here's the first example. Uh, in western New Guinea, there is a tribe, Korowai, uh, that has many man-eaters. Of course, this is in reference to the cannibals. So, this is a cannibalistic tribe. They have a number of people that will eat other people. So, you could refer to them as man-eater. All right, let's look at number two. Uh, sometimes sharks are referred to as man-eaters, especially after all the Jaws movies. Yeah, there was a number of Jaws movies, and we always see the uh, great white sharks attacking people, so uh, they are often thought of as a man-eater. Okay, let's go on. Uh, number three, uh, the character of Samantha, played by actress Kim Cattrall, uh, in the old HBO series of Sex and the City, uh, was a typical example of a man-eater. Yeah, if you ever watched the show, you know, she was very, seduc very seductive and she enjoyed her relationships with men. And But she kind of was similar in a way. She kind of used men kind of like, you know, some men have the reputation of using women. So, uh, she's kind of the opposite of a womanizer, if we say a man-eater. So, she would be a, a perfect example of that. Anyway, uh, I hope it's clear. I hope you got it. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.